Hello and welcome back with an RSPS video and today we're back on Lunar RSPS and today boys we have a very exciting video prepared for you. First things first we're going to be showing the brand new Raid 3 and from the other hand we're going to be announcing a brand new series which we're going to be starting. I'm looking so much forward to this series. It's going to be a lot of fun and really quick to before we go into the video, I'd like to announce the giveaway. Zenite Cask is the one like winner to celebrate this amazing video right here. All you have to do for that is like the video, comment to your name normal and be subscribed to my channel. It's the most OP casket in the game it goes for 75 dollars so make sure to smash the like button comment doing game names down below and be subscribed to my channel and if you guys decide to check out the server with currently 327 people definitely make sure to type column column refer into the chat with the card well because you guys will be getting a very very amazing starter pack so make sure to type that into the game when you log in and i would say let's get right into the video all right so you might have realized all these beautiful items in my inventory however we're gonna go ahead and take a break on the rate show and everything because i have some news to announce this account right here just was created and born it is zero to xanite and as you can see this account is gonna be a from scratch series all the way to a beautiful Xanite donor rank. So that's going to be the idea of this series. Xanite is the highest donor rank in the game. 5,000 in total. And we are literally at zero. So you guys can see that we're not cheating whatsoever. And uh, yeah, let's see if we will ever manage to get the highest rank on this beautiful account. I'm going to be streaming this account as well on streams. We're going to see lots of progress videos and so much else as well. If you guys are excited, then definitely make sure to smash the like button. And while recording the other video, we're going to get the first grind started on here. Update hashtag number 14. Sactum of Death. A new raid accessible from the minigame set teleport interface. You can create a party with a maximum of five people. We're going to go through the raid and everything in a minute as well. The raid includes four bosses uh, with different... Oh, full boss frames with different boss. Okay, very interesting. The Sanctum of Death is an easy mode and a hard mode. Okay, so we'll probably do the easy one. Might actually go ahead for a hard mode. We'll see how, how hard it actually is. And players can all use Soul Split in the Sanctum of Death. Okay, very interesting. So here's the teleport interface. The chest room as well. We're going to do a little opening as well. And we will also go ahead and showcase the beautiful brand new sounds that came into the game. So just really quick through the updates, right? So we have that covered. Uh, the first three bosses have different special attacks. The last boss has the, spa has the special attacks of all the three previous. Ones. That's pretty cool. So we have one, two, three different ones. And then the final one's going to have all of the three different ones. That's pretty cool, actually. There is a 50k damage cap on these bosses in the Sanctum of the Death. Okay, the Mystic Werewolf also switches prayers every couple of attacks. The boss hit points will scale depending on the party size. Okay, pretty interesting. As we can see here, room one, room two, room three. And then we got the final boss right here that we will go ahead and farm so when completing the raid we are going to be receiving sanctum key shots okay this is a set of sanctum key shots to receive per raid so we're going to get a well depending on the the mode as we can see right here easy grants 100 shots heart one 300 plus 75 for additional players and plus 225 for additional players and uh, yeah these shots can be converted into keys Sanctum keys can be created by combining 100 Sanctum key shots, as you can see right there. We also have that in the beautiful inventory. So we're going to go ahead and combine these 1,000 into 100, sorry, into 10 lovely Sanctum keys. All right, what rewards can you guys expect to get? Well, the base drop rate for the rare drop table is 1 in 1,000. The drop rate for rares can be improved by sacrificing Lucifer pieces. That's very interesting, actually. So if you guys have duplicates, you don't want your Lucifer pieces, you can sacrifice them for an increased drop rate. The best possible drop rate um, from sacrifice is 1 in 500. Okay, each Lucifer piece, you sacrifice and prove the drop rate by 1 in 50. Pretty fucking interesting. As we can see right here, that is the beautiful uh, drop table. We'll go ahead and open a couple of these as well throughout the video. And uh, yeah, let's get into the freaking new Bastion slot gear. The new Bastion slot melee armor with 25% drop rate apiece. Provides plus 7,500 in melee stats as we can see right here. Looks also absolutely beautiful. I'll show that in game as well in a second. Then we got the Hellfish armor, which is a new best slot range piece. 25% drop rate as well included. 7.5k in range stat. And the final stat right here is the beautiful Midnight armor, which is the new best slot magic one with 25% drop rate bonus and 7.5k in stats. There's also a bright new collection log that has been added towards this beautiful beautiful um raid as well as a bunch of other boss so you guys can go ahead and check this one out as well all righty well ladies and gentlemen it is time to get rid of this beautiful set right here also of the uh custom because i want to go ahead and wear the beautiful mystic set slash hellfire set slash midnight set well so we got a beautiful mage weapon we're gonna go out and get 
the beautiful Midnight set on us right now, because that is the uh, Mage one. And Brian, we looking fucking sexy. Then we got this beautiful set right here, the Mystic one, which got the Melee one, and also the beautiful Hellish one, which is the range set, and all of them look absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and use the range one, uh, sorry, the magic one as well as the range one, since the raid is gonna have different prayers as we ran in the thread. In case you ask what the fuck was this orange armor, well, that is the Lunite costume, which goes in here. And this one right here provides some additional bonuses, so we should be wearing it, to be honest. But for the sake of the video and the new site, we're gonna go ahead and bank it, so we will have only the bright new site showing in the video. So let's go ahead and check out the beautiful teleports. The only thing I'm gonna be wearing, I think, is Divine's mask, because Divine makes double damage, absolutely fucking broken. So I think we're gonna go ahead and use that. And, um... Uh, yeah, let's also get ourselves our range weapon, and then we'll go right into it. Sanctum of the Death. Let's go right into it, boys. I'm so freaking excited. So, you got the raiding lobby right there. I think I'm going to do a solo, even though I don't know if it's hard or if we will be able to do it solo anyway. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, when clicking on the portal, you guys will be choosing easy or hard mode. As I mentioned before, we'll go for the easy one, since we're going to do uh, solo anyway. And we'll not be able to use Soul Split, therefore I've brought myself a little bit of food. I'm not really sure how quick I'm going to be killing them. Since it's an easy one, I don't expect to be super, super hot, but um, you never know. Alright, we got the first boss right here, Mr. Midnight Orc, okay. Uh, again, we have a 50,000 damage cap, so this actually is uh, pretty interesting. We're not going to be hitting too much. Well, it will, uh, we will be hitting good, but not like one-shotting him. And so far, he's... Oh my fucking god, that's the first mechanic right there, as we can see, so... On that one, we're gonna go ahead and move around, otherwise we're gonna be fucking dying. At least the only cool thing is he's like literally saying, dodge these. Like, he's what well, he wants me to survive, actually, and kill him. That is pretty, pretty nice, actually. Okay, well, we've run a little bit out of food. Seven rock days left. We just complete the first frame, and we'll go ahead and go into the second room right now. Holy freaking moly, I just got one-shotted. Oh my god, there was this, this test panel that we have to go ahead and uh, dodge. If you die, you actually don't get kicked out of the raid. You literally just have to restart. So I think the best thing to do on the range boss, honestly, sorry, on this boss right here, is to go ahead and uh, protect range on it. Then you see this explosion that you don't want to be standing in. Otherwise, you'll get fucked really, really bad. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and run around. If this explosion hits you, you are pretty much one shot it, as you saw before. And uh, yeah, just similar concept. Just make sure to run around whenever he's doing this special attack. You see right here, explode. Just run around and you should be alright. Alrighty, the man is dead and we're going into the next room, which is gonna be room number three. Alrighty, here we are. This one has to be killed with magic or melee. I'm a bit worried, honestly, that you will be burned. Okay, so I think this is gonna be like a walking around uh, thing again. So you don't wanna stand on him. And uh, yeah, pretty nice model as well, if you see. I like that. So this one is sort of like this... Uh, I don't know if you guys have done the beautiful... Queen Black Dragon, but Queen Black Dragon has a similar animation where you guys want to stand in, not in the fucking fires, otherwise you get fucking burnt and you die. And uh, yeah, pretty nice concept as well, I really like it, a bit more uh, hard to do this one here, honestly. But it's pretty, pretty nice, oh god, we have to one more, what, no, we didn't move, oh, sad life, we just fucking planked. So as you can see, some prop mechanics as well in this raid, I fucking love it. Alrighty, the man is dead. Very beautiful. The fires are still coming on me, so I know they actually get removed after you kill that. Okay, pretty nice. And then we're gonna have the final boss again. This boss is gonna have all the three attack styles combined, so you gotta be careful a little bit what you're gonna be doing. So you wanna run a lot around, and uh, yeah, you should be alright. Here it is, the man of the beautiful RK. Okay, wait, that's range attack, so we wanna go ahead and like do proper attack. Oh god, he's like having anti magic right now. Okay, so. We'll have to go ahead and do all the different things. So this is the first animation right there. So you want to go run around. Then he will probably come with the explosion attack as well. God damn it, dude. That was pretty, pretty long actually here. And you will get a bird. Okay, no. Actually, he will go with the third animation. So third boss uh, skill. I think we should be around here. And um, yeah. While he is doing the attacks, you can actually go ahead and do all the beautiful runs. Dodge this. Okay. So this one is the explosion. No, never mind. The first boss again. So sort of like... I don't know, this burning animation, pretty cool actually. He hasn't done a single time the other one though. As you can see, he just switched the he just switched the beautiful uh, prayers again. So you'll have to go ahead and do prayer flicks as well. So what I've just realized as well, he was doing the fireball and he was at the same time doing also the beautiful uh, explosion animation. So that is actually pretty fucking cool that he can do the three, two or three attacks at the same time. And uh, yeah, I really love how they've coded that. 
Alrighty, the man is about to die. Good fight to the Mystic Werewolf right there. And as we can see, we'll be teleported right into this beautiful uh, location here. And we got ourselves a hundred of these bad boys, which means we just got another key right here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do a little opening here. Eleven of these bad boys. You can either go for a single opening or you can go ahead and open all of them. Let's just go and open all of them. And uh, I don't think we got anything rare, I believe. Pretty sad, actually. But uh, yeah, you guys get the idea. You can get a shit ton of good loot. And obviously, if you get super lucky, you can get the brand new best slot items, well as Onyx Casket, and a shit ton of freaking upgrade tokens. And that is pretty much Raid 3 these guys have released here. I really do like it. Let me know down below how you guys like it. I'm a really huge fan of mechanic bosses. So I, these bosses with different mechanics, where you have to run around, where you have to dodge things, where you have to like stand in between waves, I really do like it. And especially the last boss, which combines all of the mechanics in one boss, is super fucking amazing. I'm gonna continue grinding this account right now, I've just voted as well, and hopefully you guys will be seeing the first episode in the next couple of days, and uh, yeah, don't forget to smash the like button, comment your in-game name, and be subscribed to my channel, and see you guys around, thanks so much for tuning in, love y'all, have a good one, and again, when you log in for the first time on Lunite, type column can refer to the chat with the code Walkers, you guys will be getting a super amazing starter pack, thanks for watching everybody, have a good day, all the links down below for Lunite, smash the like button, comment your in-game name, and be subscribed to my channel, don't have the giveaway, and I'll see you guys around, thanks so much for tuning in, love y'all, have a good one,